Good day, grade 12s. Welcome to lesson number 72 from uh, my textbook, The Distinction Found Student, grade 12. I also have grade 11 and grade 10. Right, in this lesson, I'll start by revising, as usual, uh, homework from the previous lesson. Right, um, it says, co copy and complete the following table. Right, so you see we have quantity, we have variable cost, we have total revenue. Okay, then we are going to calculate this, this, and that. So, if we have our variable cost there, which is cost that changes with as output increases, we can calculate our total cost. But the problem is we can't get our total cost if we don't have our fixed cost. Now, how do we calculate fixed cost? Quite difficult. They will have to give you. But now, I gave you fixed cost of 30 at zero. So, it gets fixed. So this 30 rand is going to be 30, 30, 30 until 7. So this one is the easy one. All right, then now, what is our fixed, our total cost? We are now adding this and that. So 30 plus 0, 30. 35 plus 30, 65. Like that, you see? The next one is, once we have our total cost and our total revenue, we now use that formula TR minus TC. So this minus that, this minus that. So it's 65 minus 65. It's actually zero there. 95 minus something there, which is there. Okay, let's see. So, like I said, we have our fixed cost 30 throughout. We add these two, we get our 65, 65. That's the zero I was talking about. And then like that, like that, like that. So, this is quite an easy uh, activity that I gave you there. But, you know, it makes you understand how things work. Right, the lesson for the day is quite a short one and in this lesson uh, we are simply doing two things. Uh, we are um, uh, comparing a natural monopoly and that which we can say is artificial. artificial. Okay, so what is a natural monopoly? This arises in industries where economies of scale are so large that a single business can supply okay, can supply the entire market, e.g. electricity. So we then say ESCOM is naturally a monopoly because of that reason. High development costs prevent entry uh, that may involve billions of brands. Here, a single industry can serve the whole market as a, as a lower price than two or more. An example of this is the ESCOM in South Africa, frequently owned and regulated by the government. Then we have other monopolies like artificial ones. Barriers to entry are not economic in nature. An example of these barriers is a patent. Like uh, in a previous lesson, I mentioned uh, uh, Apple inventing a touch screen and Apple deciding not to patent the product. And we said a patent is um, uh, rights, exclusive rights. It makes you the only business that produces that item. All right. Uh, a producer has exclusive rights to manufacture a product that they invented. Licensing is another way of uh, an artificial monopoly can exist. An example of this is license to provide cell phone service. Let's say if you are the only one that is licensed then you become a monopoly artificially, not naturally. All right, then another example is SABC. Let's say if they have the broadcasting right and they have the exclusive right to broadcast. All right, so in that case, we'll see that they become a monopoly, but it's not uh, economic in nature. It's because they are the ones with the exclusive rights to produce whatever that could be or to render a service and in that way. All right, so this concludes the short lesson, very, very short. Uh, I'll give you, as usual, homework. Explain how natural and artificial monopolies act as barriers to the producer wanting to enter the market. All right, so this concludes the short lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.